Are you satisfied with the way the Angels handled Jake Marisnik? Well, you had to know it was coming. Mm -hmm. I, I know Jake knew it was coming. You even saw after the incident, you know, he kind of kept his teammates, hey, stay in the dugout. I expected it. But, you know, I didn't really like the location to the pitch. You know, I, I, if, hey, if you're going to throw at somebody, throw at him. But, it you know, was too you, high? Yeah, a little, little close to the head. But, you know, years ago, the umpires knew all those situations, too, and they had to know something was going to happen. You got to protect your teammates. And years ago, they used to say, um, umpires used to come to me and say, look, you got one shot, and let's get it over with. Make sure, you, make sure you take care of it right there. And that was one of the things that A.J. Hinch said. He said it was too high. They need to also hit guys right away. But there was runners on in the first two at-bats that Jake was up to, to bat. Do you hit him anyway? You hit him anyway. If I'm the manager, I'm hitting the first time up there. Get it over with. He knew it was coming. Let it happen in the first inning because this was a vicious shot at home plate. A.J. Hinch knew this was coming. I mean, he was a catcher in the big leagues. He knows that retaliation is going to come sooner or later to, to, to Marisnik. Um, in this That's situation... Brutal. I'm going to hit him in the first inning, get it out of the way. But this is not golf. This is baseball. We, I mean, everyone of them want to make this a gentleman game. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a lot of situations that we don't like each other on the other side of, the, of that field. You and know, Tara you, can attest to that. Uh, absolutely, Frank. And, you know, you got to live with these guys. You're a family. And when one of your family members, you know, takes a beating like, like Luke Roy did, you're going to... Hey, you're going to retaliate. That's, and, you know, I said it for many times. The players will take care of business here. They, you know, they're, they're grown men. They know the under, they understand the game. And Frank was absolutely right. I'd do it again. I, I would do it right away. Mm -hmm. So first at bat, first pitch. You don't throw two away. sliders and then go after his neck. It's over. No, not at it's the over. third Both at bat. Both sides look at each other. It's over, okay? Let's, Let's move on. All right, so Yelich ties Cody Bellinger with 34 homers for the league lead. And look at these numbers. They are nearly identical. Mm. Bellinger hitting a little better, slightly right. for average. Few more RBI, but their OPS virtually the same. This has been so much fun to watch in the National League. Frank, how close would you say this NL MVP race is? Pick one. It's airtight. And you got to pick one. Yelly sounds like me leaving the green room. We got to get out to the <laughs> stage. Ho hum, here we go again. But I'm looking at it like this. I'm still going to go with Bellinger right now because this team is, this has been the best team in baseball this year. That's the only advantage he has at this point. But well, I'm not going to argue that. They are the best team in baseball right now. But, you know, you just said it earlier. You know, the Milwaukee Brewers are two and a half games behind. Why? Because of... Christian Yelich. If he, if he wasn't doing what he's doing, and you've got Aguilar wasn't swinging the bat, you've had some other guys that have had some injuries, they, he, they have jumped on this guy's back and rode him to being in contention for a wild card, and, he, and eventually maybe even the division. Yelich trying to go back to back. He would be the first mm -hmm. NL MVP going back to back since Pujols did it in 08 and 09. And that's what the, the, the impression there, you, you got a guy going back to back. That's why Yelly, he could pull this thing out. It's hard to go back to back. I did it, and that was, it was like the, the longest t two years of my life because of the focus <laughs> to do that. So Yelly right now is still in this race. It can go any way. It's going it's to come down to the media. Well, we all benefit from watching. It's been yes. a lot of fun to watch both Bellinger and Yelich.